Hello everyone, I'm Robert Olguin. And I'm Liz Dewicki. Thanks for joining us here. So happening right now, we're dealing with a major traffic jam right in the middle of peak rush hour. That's thanks to a train derailment that happened earlier this afternoon, and it is still causing issues right now. KFOX 14 News at 5's Ariana Para joins us now live from central El Paso with a look at that scene. Erica, or Robert, Liz, right now I'm here in uh, in Central El Paso, right near the Cotton Bridge, near the Dallas exit, where just feet away from that train derailment. Go ahead and take a look right now. Now, right here, you can see that this is the train that completely derailed and knocked over to its side. You can also see that I-10 right there getting a little bit backed up. Lots of traffic right now as we do hit this rush hour. Now, both the El Paso Police and Fire Departments responded to this derailment at Missouri and Cotton around 1 o'clock this afternoon. A spokesperson from the railroad transport company Union Pacific tells us 13 train cars were involved in the derailment here in central El Paso. Three of those cars coming completely off the track and falling to the other side while the other 10 derailed and are still standing upright. And that's exactly what you're looking at right here. Now this video was sent in to us by a viewer. You can see here an even closer look at the derailment and train cars that are completely off the track and flipped onto their side. Now, Union Pacific does say that these cars were carrying and spilled soybean meal. And a spokesperson from the city's fire department did confirm that no other injuries have been reported and hazmat was not needed. Now, I also want to show you what this area looks like from a different point of view. Take a look at this drone footage captured by our KFOX 14 sky view. You can see here that exit 20 Dallas heading eastbound is completely closed off because of the derailment. Also closed off, you can see, is all lanes on Missouri Avenue heading west at Willow Street. Now, both of these areas are expected to be closed all throughout the day. So if this is part of your daily commute heading home, you're going to want to find an alternate route. You're going to want to give yourself a little bit of extra time on the roadways in this area. Now, a spokesperson from Union Pacific does tell us that they are working on getting this area cleaned up and working on getting these railroad cars behind me completely removed. However, they do not have a set timeline for that. I'm reporting live from central El Paso, Ariana Parra, KFOX 14 News at 5.